Hello, I'm Rex Pasterfield, and I'd like to welcome you to a video about my Qualcomm Vocoral 2. About nine years ago, back in 2016, I made the original Vocoral, and for some reason I thought I'd revisit it and see if I could improve upon it. And I think I have, and this is the Vocoral version 2. The Vocoral was a plug-in designed for vocals to make them sound more like a choir, but it doesn't use modulated delay lines like in a con conventional chorus. It uses pitch shifters which are narrowly detuned around the central value. The original had 20 voices, whereas the vocal two has 48, and uh, modern PCs can handle that quite comfortably. The original one was tied into vocals and everything was set in such a way that vocals would be the ideal kind of input. But on the Vocoral 2, I made it so that there are controls so that you can adapt it for other types of input. So you can add this kind of chorus to other musical sources. The choir panel is where you can make these adjustments to the pitch shifters. So spread determines the range of detuning symmetrically uh, of the pitch shifters. The balance will offset that tuning between left and right. The timing introduces variable delays to give a better illusion of being a multiplicity of voices and the diffuse sets the level of diffusion which adds a kind of uh, sh very short-lived reverb like uh, blurring to the sound. Internally the processing is fully stereo so left and right are processed separately but you can change from stereo into mono and you'll get the option to create a stereo image from a mono source and you can set the width of the stereo signal with the width knob. Apart from the 16 voices left, 16 voices right, with center turned on, you get an additional 16 voices which are derived from a mono version of the input. The dry-wet knob clearly is a mixture between the dry signal and the process signal and if you turn this LED switch off then you will get what you set on the knob but if you turn this on the wet switch becomes available so you can punch in the choir sound wherever you want record that as automation and edit it after the event should you wish to in this case when the wet switch isn't pressed you get the full dry signal and when you hold it down you get whatever you've set on the dry wet knob. And of course I've provided a version of my favourite reverb, the Mverb 7B. So by now I imagine you want to actually hear this thing in action. So now I'll play a vocal clip without me pressing anything with no processing, so it'll be just the dry signal. And then I'll play the same clip with me operating the wet switch uh, at appropriate moments. And late at night, when I go to slumber, the thoughts of love are in my mind. And as I turn to embrace my darling by yon willow tree, True love I find And late at night When I go to slumber The thoughts of love Are in my mind And as I turn To embrace my darling By young willow tree 
true love I find. So what's good for vocals is not particularly good for uh, musical instruments. So if I play this guitar clip on the vocal setting, you'll hear the terrible detuning. Now, if I switch over to the instrument preset, which reduces the spread of pitches, the balance offset increases the timing and the diffusion, and I think you'll find this sounds better. So I hope that gives you some idea of what the vocal two can do and uh, there's more information in the user guide of course so until the next time bye